And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to the Ludum Dare game marathon. Uh, very much nearing its end. This is the last regular video, and then there will be only, <clears throat> I think, two more videos where I'll play the the winners of this competition. Um, I assume that there are two uh, sections for this competition. There are several categories, so maybe there are even more winning games. Uh, one for each category, maybe. Um, so depending on yeah how many winners will be chosen, um, there will, will be that many more videos. However, this is the last regular video, as I said, and this is one of... Uh, this is the random video, so we are playing a game that was chosen by the random number writer and the random number generator uh, shows this time La Dernière Etoile, which is, and this is pronounced very French, of course, uh, which according to its own description is a platformer with an innovative sixth and last day. What does it mean? Don't ask me, that's what the description says. It is, an, it is a platformer with an innovative, and innovative is in quotes, sixth and last day. You are a little thing named Bubul by the guy who designed it, designed it, and you need to catch the red crystal. We made it in a team of three. Um, yeah, that's basically the, <laughs> the description. So let's just play the game and just yeah, stop fooling around. Okay, something strange is going on in this world. Look at that red thing. It wouldn't be such a big deal if I was able to get close to the last star holding this planet together. If this star was to be moved, our whole world would be completely changed, corrupted and some say that it would even collapse. Would you mind taking a look around the world and grabbing that thing to show it to us? Hint, press arrow down to cut your jump, i.e. when you didn't intend to jump and you want to get back down quick. Okay. Um... I like the music. Um, oh, I'm tired of chasing the thing. I'll get back to it tomorrow. But, but what does this mean? Our world changed a lot. It must be the strange red thing. I'll catch it anyways. Resistance is futile. Um, okay. As far as I can tell, there is no, no time limit, so... Um, interestingly, um, the guy actually doesn't just stop when he falls down on the platform, he actually jumps, uh, but basically bounces, um, bounces around a bit, which is maybe more realistic, but that's very unusual for a platformer. But I guess, uh, well, that wasn't realistic at all, was it? Okay. And I guess um, you don't really want to have such a behavior in a platformer in general, as it makes, yeah, the controls a bit wobbly. Um, it's 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 a bit unsettling if you um, want to jump immediately after. Um, immediately after you fall down on the surface. Um, uh, our planet changed again? And what are those green things? It looks like I can go through them. I guess they are trees. Um, ah. Sorry. Ah. Okay, platforming <laughs> is getting a little bit more annoying.
Um, yeah, those trees, they... I'm not sure why they are there. They, they don't really do <laughs> much um, gameplay-wise. I mean, like in nothing at all. stuff again but this time it's long and wide okay I can go through it through its body but use its top it's is misspelled here but use its top as a platform if I go slow enough on it else I fall down maybe those are clouds but that doesn't make sense oh no those are actually pillars um, Um, yeah, those are just pillars. <laughs> I'm not sure why he claimed that um, it would have to be slow to work on them. Okay. This was probably not the smartest or quickest route. Um, Maybe going the long way, the long route might be necessary here. Uh, hmm. No, that can't be it. Oh, I'm just making something. Um, hmm. Ah, okay. So you actually fall through them um, if you're too fast, which makes no sense at all, but. Well. Shit. Um. Because that's how you solve this little jumping puzzle. Um, yeah, I am. I am definitely not a fan of the fact that you that the character doesn't stop when you fall down. I mean, he doesn't stop immediately. Um, It is also my, partially my fault because you, um, as the game explained, if you just press the down key, um, the character just stops. Um, okay, good. There's no weird stuff today. That red thing must be gone. Finally. Oh wait, no, it's not gone. It's still here. Well, I'm guess. Well, I guess I'm going to grab it then. Okay. Mm. 
Gonna go this way, maybe. This time the weird thing, the weird red, the weird red thing is really gone. But oh no, the star has been moved. I need to get it back real quick. I guess it could be worse. The world had could have been collapsed. Well, uh... ah, I see what the problem is. Um, yeah. Shit. Ne me dis pas que tu as essayé de t'envoler. Don't tell me that you tried to. Uh, let me just check what envoler means. Um, fly away, apparently. Okay, I hope this brings me back to the same level and not... Oh no, it starts from the beginning. <sighs> God. Blah blah blah. Fuck off. Okay, um Game Designer rule number one Never ever make <laughs> a game with a narrative um and combine it with an old school, if you die, you are getting sent back to the beginning of the game mechanic. Because nobody cares about your story exposition. If you need to watch the whole damn exposition again. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Um, I really don't know why they introduced these this pillar mechanic, if you would even call that a mechanic. Um, I'm not sure why they introduced bother to introduce these pillars since um, they don't future, they don't seem to future in any other level. I mean, I assume that. Um, there are no more than seven days, um, as it's probably, um, yeah, 
a biblical reference to reference, not reference, reference to uh, yeah, the creation of the world in seven days or something like that. I would assume that it is seven days. Backtracking at its finest. Brought to you by the elevator simulator and the people who programmed this game. Or designed this level. can't do that. I am wasting my time. I could have a life, you know. Could be doing something productive. But I'm playing this shitty video game. I don't even know why. Okay, um... Uh... Shit. Scheiße. Okay. Ah, scheiße, fuck. Scheiße. Scheiße. Fucking... Fucking controls. Fucking... Piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit game, I hate you, die, piss, cunt, shit, fuck, motherfucker, cock. And the world exploded. Or did it? But, but, why were we all killed? To build this, this thing? Have we done something wrong? That's it. Well, the Earth is small compared to the universe. It's a small world, but I wouldn't want to have... want to have... want to have to paint it. A quote by Stephen Wright, apparently. You won the game. Um, credits... All these people here. Made using Eclipse. Um, interesting thing. This game was built completely from scratch apparently so they in particular didn't use any physics library um, yeah I mean I may have been a little harsh on the game um, I guess it's okay if this Maybe your first... I'm, I think this was their first entry. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, so this was La Dernia et all. And yeah, the next few videos will will, um, will be the winners. The winners, uh, not winners. The winners of the competition. So yeah, expect anything from 2 to 16 videos maybe. Depending on how many... Yeah, winners will be chosen. Uh, if you want to play this game for yourself, then there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, yeah, and I hope you like this video. Until next time, folks. Until then.